In 2011, Karen's base salary was $52,500, and she earned an end-of-the-year bonus of $6,250. In 2012, her base salary went up to $56,300, but her end-of-the-year bonus was only $4,100. We want to know what was the percent increase or decrease in her overall earnings from 2011 to 2012, and we'll round the answer to the nearest tenth of a percent. Okay, so to calculate the percent change, we can use the formula that it's the change in income divided by the original income. And in this case, the original income is going to refer to what she earned in uh, 2011. All right, so to figure out the change in income, so the change in her income, that's going to equal the amount earned in 2012. And we'll subtract from that the amount earned in 2011. Okay, well, so to figure out the amount that she earned in 2011 and to figure out the amount earned in 2012, that's just going to be a matter of doing addition. So we know in 2011 she earned $52,500 and she also got this nice bonus of $6,250. I wish I got a nice end of the year bonus like that. So if we add 0 and 0 is 0, 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 2 plus 6 is 8, we'll just drop the 5 down. So in 2011, she made $58,750. Okay, so let's figure out how much she earned in 2012. So there her base salary was 56300 We'll add to that 4100 So again, 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 0, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then we have 56 plus 4, that'll give us 60. So in 2012, she made a total of $60,400. So that means the change, that's going to be 60400 minus 58750 and again, you know, you're allowed to use your calculator on these. I'm just kind of doing, you know, part of it by hand. So if you feel comfortable doing it by hand, feel free. Um, a lot of times it's quicker for me to do it by hand, but uh, certainly feel free to use your calculator. So I've got 60,400 minus 58,750. That's a change of, well, her income went up by $1,650. And now to figure out the percent change, I'm just going to use my original formula up here. So the percent change, that's going to be the 1,650 divided by her original income in 2011. We said that was 58,750. So again, I'm going to use my calculator here. So 1,650 divided by 58,750. Okay, so... This is giving it to me in a decimal form, 0 0.028, and we want to round to the nearest, the nearest tenth of a percent. So to convert from a, a decimal to a percentage, recall that you move the decimal place two places to the right. So if I write this as a decimal, I would have 2.8 excuse me, if I write this decimal as a percentage, I would have 2.80%. Now, again, we have to be careful. So this is the tenths place, and this is the hundredths. Should be all one word there. I kind of ran out of room. So the hundredths place. So um, I kept the zero because, again, it tells me should I round up or not. So recall if this, this number is five or higher, we would round up the, the tenths place. Well, it's zero, so in this case, we don't have to round at all. Uh, excuse me, well, we shouldn't round up, is what I should say. 
So if we round to the nearest tenth of a percent, I'm getting that her salary went up by 2.8%.